incredibly excited that you've allowed for us to come back for another week. So that being said, I'm Michael Thomas. I'm Matt Gorin. And we're with Nothing Funny About Money. And the big question today is, should we go into debt to afford experiences? No. Are you sure about that? Yes. I thought it was priceless. No. Like you charge the card, you have the moment, and the moment is priceless, right? Mm -hmm. See, the problem with going into debt right now for things that you can't afford is that you end up paying for it later yeah. when you're not enjoying those things anymore. And you pay for it a lot more later. So what would be, what would be a good example? I know for me and my family, it would have to be Christmas, right? <laughs> My mom would buy all these gifts. I was like, mom, I don't want anything. I don't want anything. She was like, boy, give me a Christmas list. And I was like, okay, you can have my Christmas list. And I'd be like one or two things. And she'd give me like five or seven. And then she'd be stressed out from January all the way through June uh, as it relates to paying off the credit card bills, whatever it may be. So there was really no joy in terms of having to pay for it later. But what if hmm. you could do like a rewards card thing or whatever it may be, use the point, you pay it right off and you take the great trip, the great trip somewhere. Does that actually promote happiness by not having to pay for it later yeah. and having it paid for before? All right, scientific research suggests that if we pay for experiences before we go on them, we enjoy the experiences more. So that would be my oh. preference for everybody. And let's return to this credit card example one last time. Yep. With a, a computer like this one that might cost you over $2,000. Let's say you don't have the money and you put it all on a credit card. If you make minimum payments, it might take you over 20 years to pay for that computer at a cost of over $8,000. Absolutely. So please save up and enjoy your life more. <laughs> and not only longer. that, but as soon as you get this computer you paid for for a year and a half, a newer, better model comes out. It's right? always a newer and, and better. And then you hate this computer, but you're locked in, as Matt would say, for eight years. So not a whole lot of happiness there. Mm -hmm. So what we're saying again is that if you can, if you want to have experiences, try to pay them ahead of time, enjoy the experience, and don't worry about having to pay for it later. Does that kind of sum it up? It does. So everybody, thanks for having us again this week. GA Futures, we are incredibly appreciative of all the wonderful work that you're doing. And uh, we'll see you all next time. Peace.